Should they, will they rush to get someone in now and maybe look long term as they go? In other words, an interim, even if you don't call him interim, or is this a slow process where they're trying to get a guy who's going to be here for as long as he can? Well, make? what I would like to see is that investigation come to a head very, very quickly because, you know, I'm a big, big fan of Ron Renneke. Yeah. I, I really am. I think he's totally qualified for the job. Uh, he's been a manager in the past. He's, he's, he's very level headed, very smart. He was an incredible right hand man for Alex Cora. He really was. And I would see like to see him. As, as a, certainly a candidate, a lead candidate for the job. But the problem, as you mentioned, we don't know what the investigation is going to show. That's why I'd like to see the investigation get over with. And if you move on from that quickly, you could probably name a Ron Redicke as manager and not worry about it. The other option would be, you know, something like, you know, as you mentioned, Jason Veritek, the, the, the setback there is he hasn't managed. But there's a lot of guys that have started managing recently that have never managed before. Yeah, it's almost a trend. And then the key there is to get yourself a good bench coach. You know, you really need an excellent bench coach. So this is this is so interesting. And it's it's um, it's it's going to be fun to watch over the next couple of weeks, because, look, I can't imagine this team going into spring training without a manager. It doesn't make any sense. 